welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. On this edition of the show, we're talking about using an individual's talents to help an entire community. My guest for this segment is Michael Caraballo. He is founder and CEO of a wonderful organization called Talent for Change, the four being a number. Michael, so great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys are a relatively new organization, Talent for Change. Yes. So let's talk about the brief history of the organization and how it came about because it's pretty interesting it didn't it wasn't what you intended it to be in the very beginning no no definitely definitely not uh, what we intended it to be um you know it actually stemmed off of a company uh, that i created in 2009 called the time catalog which was basically just uh trying to provide uh, artists that could be better influences for our kids with all the resources they needed so that they can actually be out there in our kids headphones and in the tv screens and really influencing our kids uh, 2013, I realized we need to do more. People don't really care about helping out the independent artists, no matter how positive they are, because there's just too many out there. Uh, and I wanted to still come up with a way to utilize their talent for change. And that's when the name hit me. And we started to do a series of inspirational events with these artists to just inspire people to unite, come together, and then we'd utilize that unity to go into communities and restore the communities. Um, the problem was it was very superficial. We'd come, help, and then we'd disappear. They wouldn't see us again. We wanted to be more consistent. Um, and then uh, a friend of mine who's a chef came to me and offered his talent, which forced us to basically evolve and include all talents and not just musicians and singers and things like that. So it really is to use an individual talent, like the chef's yes. talent, to teach, to get kids involved, to teach them things so that they would go back out into their communities and use that new talent exactly. uh, to help out their families and their local communities. So tell me about how this specifically, the chef program works. Um, so the chef program, the way it works is we're actually teaching kids how to grow their own food, how to harvest, and then how to actually cook their meals, their own meals. Uh, through the process of that, they also learn, you know, table etiquette and uh, a, a, a server etiquette and table manners. Um, but the idea is to actually collaborate with different chefs and different gardeners from the local communities and have them come on as mentors to empower the kids from within their own community to become more resourceful and self-sufficient. And we were talking about this uh, before this interview, but you were hoping that these kids would learn the skill, take it home, and the change would start at the family level. Yes, yes. We wanted to be able to utilize these initiatives to uh, kind of serve as solutions for today's problems. And we recognize one of our biggest battles is, is a battle, you know, against dysfunction. Um, our families, you know, all of us in one way or another are very dysfunctional, and we have to kind of learn to balance and boost each other up. Um, but it's very hard when you're, you know, kind of... Uh, taken down by, by the totals of everyday life. You know, parents are busy with their schedule, sometimes working multiple jobs. They don't have time to really address the kids the way that, you know, they should be addressing them to make it a little more pleasant and more functional. So with this program in particular, the kids are now learning to cook their own meals and they're, you know, being inspired to want to go home and tell mom and dad, take a break, kick your feet back, here's the paper, let me cook for you. And now the parents are being put in a position where they have the time to actually tell the kids how proud they are of them and encourage them to keep down that path and become the next top chef or, or, or whatever the case may be, rather than, you know, the only time they have to address their kids is to yell at them to regain control in the house. So you're breaking the cycle, right? Yeah, and it's shifting the dynamic of the entire family. That's the idea. But through, you know, uh, people's individual talent. You know, if you have a talent you'd be willing to utilize for change, we want to be able to help you develop that talent into an initiative that will empower the kids in the community and better, you know, the community overall. Collaborating with uh, uh, local youth centers and, and, and different youth organizations were actually able to monitor the kids' progress. Wow, that's wonderful. Some great work that you do. For Thank more you. information, folks can head to the website, which is talent, the number four, change.org. Thanks so much yes. for being here. Thank you. My newsmaker has been Michael Caraballo. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. We'll see you next time on Comcast Newsmakers.